Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Michaela from World Travel Bug. Now, I am dressed like Crocodile <laughs> Dundee today, I think appropriately for today's adventure. Mm -hmm. I think he's more like a geeky bird watcher, but uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're here in Southern Florida. And we're going to visit the Everglades National Park today. This is gonna be quite an adventure. So come along with us and let, let us show, show you around. around. So we're driving uh, along the coast. We're heading south toward Miami from St. Augustine. And we found this little uh, spot. We thought we'd pull over. There's plenty of room for the trailer. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, look, even from further, it looks cool. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, I'm so happy we stopped here. Look at this view. Oh, and the walk. Yeah, this oh, boardwalk and everything is so nice. <laughs> These are the, the nice stuff, you know, the lucky stuff, you know, where you just stop for something and then you come across something like this. Out of the And there's really yeah. no one here. I mean, there's a handful of people fishing and a few cars in the parking lot, but, and yeah. it's, it's already, you know, the good start of the day. It's about 9.30. Yeah, exactly. And Ten look, minutes ago? it's actually um, more granular. Yes, exactly. It's golden. You know what's interesting about these beaches we've been stopping by? There are very few people. I just always imagine the Florida beaches being packed. And there's like a dozen people on this beach in both directions. Yeah, I guess it's because it's very, very long. I yeah. don't know how these villages or towns, how big they are. So, I mean, it's a long stretch of beach. Too. Yeah, that's true. One of the first things we did in the Everglades was go on an airboat ride with the folks from Coopertown. Before boarding the boat, we experienced a short demonstration of some of the native wildlife. If you look behind his eyes, you'll see two slits. Those are their ears. Oh my gosh. Just, I'm like, look at my feet. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. Just like, oh, shit. <laughs> Just like your shoes? Yes, yeah, I mean. yes. No, actually, softer than my shoes. <laughs> This is the first time I touch a snake. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Nicer than the alligator, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
already left a head and now I'm wondering if I should do this by myself the bobcat apparently during the day you might not encounter them but you never know so behind me alligators in front of me bobcats what do I choose <laughs> So I'm zipping down the shark trail on our brand new uh, electric scooters and Miha stayed behind. She still a little has a little trepidation about being on them um, and it's it's quite long. It's 15 miles. I'll tell you I would not want to walk this. Biking would be a lot of fun but boy 25 miles an hour top speed on the EV scooter is the way to go. This place is really remarkable. The abundance of wildlife is incredible. Okay, I'm completely alone for, I don't know, more than a mile. I guess there are some people behind, but way far. And I'm freaked out by every noise, every splash of water, um, because to my left and to my right, there are alligators and baby alligators and I've been told that on this track you could actually find them on the road and um, yeah you have to go around them so if I see that I don't know how I will react I just touched two baby alligators earlier for the first time in my life and I was shaking and then to top that up I touched a snake too a boa constrictor. Yep, my day started really well. is the must do in the Everglades. We are expecting to see most wildlife here, so fingers crossed. I'm very excited to be here. Ah, oh, your face says it all. <laughs> no, seriously, this is beautiful. It is. And it's not quite as hot and muggy as I thought. I mean, it's only about 32 degrees Celsius, I think 88 no. degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. saw two alligators fighting one oh. went under under the water yeah and it was interesting because one just kept waving its tail in the yeah. water so we really thought we were gonna get some more action yeah, yeah. but one chased the other under the water because it wasn't on his territory and we just found out that uh, mating season is coming right up but yeah we're gonna miss it but yeah let's hope for some more action <laughs>
we just did the Anhinga Trail and a little bit of another one. But we are beat right now. It's hot. Yeah. And it takes a lot out of you. Yeah, yeah. We are tired, so we are done for the day. We are perfectly positioned between Miami and the Everglades. At the Miami Everglades RV Resort, which is a thousand trails encore property. Well, that's it from the Everglades. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.